Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to review Perhabi faction. This faction is led by Mahon, the hero who is uh, having uh, one healing ability, which is uh, very good together with the truth, uh, more defense and less uh, attack all around him, allies or enemies as well. He can also make the healing worthy with more defense and resistance thanks to Hallowed Ground. And for more defense he can put Warning Shout as an optional ability. And this hero synergizes very well with the army, which I am going to show you right now. We are starting with Militia. These guys are quite weak and they will route quickly, so I do not recommend them. Instead you shall be using the Young Spears. These guys are good at dueling, have pretty good uh, weapon and charge. You are going to use them in your campaigns. As an alternative we have Perhab and Dawn Watch. Uh, they have comparable stats to Young Spears. Uh, they are much faster and the speed will be needed for their battlefield healing. You are going to uh, maneuver these guys and retrieve them back from combat so they can heal up. Uh, when you use this ability you are going to do better. Next we have Spearman, standard frontline. Uh, it's quite weak. Usually I do not recommend this as you should be aiming for better option or better tactics. Speaking of which, we have uh, Perhab and Levi Spearmen which are better at holding, better frontline and uh, if you can manage please heal them up with battlefield healing. They are going to last much longer. We have Light Swordsman from the Dawn Watch, the second tier building. These guys are dedicated flankers, not so good at dueling, so you really need to position them well. And now we have a very special unit, which is the healers. Yes, we do have healers, and this healing ability, hands of the healer, are giving plus 15 hit points per second. It's applied to the whole unit, not, not every model, and you need to be very close to the range. If I zoom a little out, you can see that uh, the range is uh, quite short, just 15 meters. So I will move them closer to, let's say, to, to Akian Slings which you should probably know these are very good efficient slings and now they are get they are being healed uh, passively so having these healers very closely helps to your units next uh, we have perhabian light slingers these slings are exchanging couple of ammunition to have the battlefield healing again this faction can heal the, his uh, units and apart from that they are not a, not scary not uh, not scared away so easily so these are going to do skirmish quite well uh, we have the bowmen these are Terrible missiles, I do not recommend them, they don't have enough range and damage and in general they are very weak. Uh, instead you should use uh, Perhab and Hunters instead, they have slightly better um, damage and they can heal up, they can skirmish. This whole faction is about healing and our hero is uh, giving some good abilities like Truce and Hell of Ground to make these units heal better or, or last for longer. Next we move to the mid 
here, mid game. We have another special uh, unit, the Asclepius Chosen. These are better healers. They have stronger heal. And yes, you are thinking about stacking these buffs together. Uh, let's say we will bring them closer to our Shielded Spearmen. Yes, they are being healed. Uh, because uh, these guys are close enough. Uh, I have to tell you, if you have two or more of these chosen units together, uh, the, the nearby unit is going to receive just one effect. It is the same effect. It cannot be applied more times. But I can bring uh, this uh, Asclepius Chosen closer to our healers. Uh, here are healers. Let's bring them closer. Yeah, you can see the hunters are being healed. And our other healers are on our way. They have uh, weaker healing. And so, uh, this is the only way how can you stack more healing. Uh, on one side they are healed by 38 points, on other side they are being hit healed by 15. And that's the maximum you can heal right now. Okay, maybe if you include another healing ability, you get the point. Okay, let's continue with our review of the roster. Shielded Spearmen, very good front line. Uh, they can put shields on the back and be quite good chargers. Spears. If you want more solid front line, I recommend you Perhabian Spearmen. They cannot put shields on back, but instead they are having much better flank defense. They are able to hold uh, better in uh, messy battles. And for chargers, you can use very fast Perhabian City Watch. They have pretty good uh, weapon, 55 speed, they can heal up. So I would recommend using these two front, good front line and good charger. Okay, what do we have next? We have missile upgrade. Perhabian archers are standard mid-tier archers. 150 and 33 missile damage is good. Yet again, battlefield healing. Now, chariots. Guess what? They don't have battlefield healing. Uh, yeah, because they are standard Echian chariots. Good at melee. Uh, you should use them together with your chargers. And for missile chariot, we have skirmish chariot. Uh, usually you have better options. Uh, they might seem to have good javelins to throw, uh, but they don't have enough models and ammunition to make for it. Rather use your melee chariot. And now let's go to the late game units. Uh, these two units, uh, Spears of Trika and Sacred Guards of Trika, they are going to be bread and butter units. And I will tell you why. Let, firstly, we see that they are solid frontline unit with quite good weapon, battlefield healing, flanking defense, yes. This is good uh, spear frontline. And here we have Inspire Pierce Resolve ability. So this ability is active. You have to use it on another another unit. Uh, it will give a lot of weapon damage, melee damage and charge bonus to such unit. Now let's review the second unit, the Sacred Guard of Trika. These chargers, or maybe a duelist, they have a lot of defense, but their weapon is so good against swords and axes. So they are like sh shield less chargers. 
the lack of charge and attack will be, uh, in the best case, boosted by Inspire Fierce Resolve. On their own, they are able to heal up from battles, support, encourage other units, and they already are not going to route so easily. Again, they have Inspire ability. To the last, it's giving more melee attack and defense to your ally. So if you see that your front line, front line is uh, below 50% HP, you can give them plus 10 attack, plus 10 defense. It makes big difference. So that is why bread and butter, these two brothers or these two units support each other. And let's see how much uh, boost we can have. With the ability we have what? 56 attack, very good. Insane weapon damage, 31 charge, very good. So these guys are going to deal a lot of damage. And sadly I cannot use the to the last to our Spears of Trika because they have plenty of HP. So we need to be kind of watching these two units how they are doing. Next we have Chosen Arches of Trika. And what is so unique about them? They have uh, heavy armor. They are able to stop Chariot. With their good stats they are able to fight Chariot or fight another unit. On top of that they have Eager for Blood and that this one is making them quite good in melee. But, but don't be too cocky, uh, they have just 80 models, so use them as archers. And with 170 range and 53 missile damage, they are already very good archers. And they will be also healing up from winning battles. And very last, we have heavy chariot. Reinforced chariots are typical Achaean uh, option and you are going to use them well. So, how should we use our faction per hobby? Uh, you already know, these guys go well together. You are going to use charge uh, missiles from the long. And let's bring these healers. You, I bet you are going to use them. You need to be very careful about them. Uh, because they have just 30 models. They are going to die very easily. You need to protect them. And if you do so, they are going to heal up. Let's bring our hero. Our hero is going to support such healing abilities. And look at this truth. Truth and to the last can make the Spears of Trika amazing uh, defender. Also, yeah, chariots. You deal a lot of damage with chariots. So, would I use some units from lower tier? Oh, probably yes. Especially the healers for sure. Shielded Spearman, yeah, you, I would use uh, especially this light very fast unit because th they can run away and heal up and they have already good weapon to be in the army composition. So I would use them as well. So that would be it and I hope you recover from such long video and see you later.